Okay, so the equation was this, the second order differential equation was given by this. Okay, that's the differential equation. The first step we need to do is write down the rules that you're going to use. Because it's second order, we need to use, first of all, the first order rule. So, and the Laplace transformation, that effectively just comes S, capital Y of S. And for second order, the transformation just becomes S squared capital Y of S. So then if we undertake the transformation, so you, you recognize that um, this rule should be used there and this should be used here. So then it effectively just becomes um, S squared capital Y of S plus two, remember there's a two there, that becomes S Y of S plus, remember, plus 5 um, y of t just becomes 5 capital Y of s equal to 5 u of t becomes capital U of s. So then if I'm looking at that, you can see common y of s is all common to all these, so I can just simplify it. So y squared plus 2s plus 5, put in square brackets. And put y of s because that's that's what's common equal to five capital U of s. Okay, then if you remember, we want it to be in the following form. So for the transfer function form, if we just use g of s, the overall transfer function is y of s over u of s. Okay, which is effectively just output over input. Where obviously, if you recall, the notation for the input is u and the output is y. So if we then multi just cross multiply, so if we cross multiply s squared plus 2s plus 5, that's just going to effectively move over to here, so it'll be 5 over that, um, well 5 us over that, and if we cross multiply 1 over us, that'll effectively move that over to here. So then you'll end up with this form, so 5 over s squared plus 2s plus 5. And that there is your transfer function. Then, if we're putting that in the form of the of the block diagram form, then the question asks you to do so. Remember that the input was was u of s. The transfer function was g of s, which in this case is five over s squared plus two s plus five, and then the output is y of s. Okay, get familiar with this notation because this is what I'll use all the time. 